<laughs> in the kitchen with executive master chef of City Dock Restaurant, Robert Saliza, making some pesto pasta salad. Something great for the big game you can make ahead of time. Yes, this will hold up. Uh, I guess you can ask the historians when the last time we had weather over 70 degrees for a Super Bowl. So this will hold up. You don't have to worry. Uh, we're going to put the fresh basil. You know, please buy your own pesto. Uh, make your own pesto. Don't buy it. It's easy to make. You know, you have one of these at home. Show I'm going to show you how to do it. I've already got the pesto in, I mean, the basil in there nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. It'll come in bags. You just have to rinse it, shake it out to dry. These here, of course, will never start with the cover. It has to be locked in place before it starts. It's a safety it's feature. Yeah. It's foolproof. It's foolproof. And then you're going to pulse it just to get it where you can work with it. And you so can you're see what's happening. Really fine? Well, as you can see, the pesto over on the other side, yeah. that's right how you here. want it to look. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some garlic in. Thanks, John. There it if is. If you don't That's have any garlic, product. you know, then it's just not pesto. So wait, you've got all that garlic that you've got in there with in the there. pesto that you've pulsed. Yep. I'm going to put some pine nuts in. Now, the pine nuts, when you get them, toast them first. Don't, uh, don't put them in raw because it'll taste like you got cotton in your mouth after. You know, Good I mean, it's, it's crazy, you know, but that's yeah, true. you wouldn't want that. Salt and pepper and then pulse it again. That's it. Well, not yet. Not, not yet. yet, okay. Then the Parmesan cheese will go in. And it's just your taste. Uh, the recipe on the, on the website will show measurements. Mm -hmm. But after, you'll say, oh, I think it needs more of this, right. more of that. And then you get used to it. Maybe it's one of those things, after you've made it a couple of times, you realize yeah. what you like more of. Now the dish. fun starts, we're going to put it on the full power. And we're going to emulsify it just by putting in the olive oil. Just like if you're making Italian dressing or something, okay. the emulsification is happening now at a steady flow with... It's a big word. Yeah, it's a pretty really? good one. <laughs> it's done. And it smells really good. And there's your pesto. And that was it. You made that in maybe a minute and a half. That's it. Now, what I want to show you after I go finish this over here mm -hmm. for the salad, what you can do with that for... At home, while everyone's at the game, you can just play around and do what else you want at home. Why waste all this nice pesto? That's right. Over here, I got mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that in the bowl first. Now, this is continuing with the the sauce for your pasta. Yes. Uh huh. Mayonnaise. How long will that last? Oh, this lasts for weeks. In the refrigerator, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put the pesto in. A lot of people don't put mayonnaise in it, but I do, and it just it tastes a lot better when you mix it up and you have like a salad dressing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Sun-dried tomatoes that I've already put in water and made soft because Carrie was telling me, you, 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 don't you put water on? Uh, I put water this time now, so she's happy. <laughs> hey, you made some concessions. That's <laughs> great. Yes. We're all learning from each other, right? <laughs> then we'll mix that up together. That's a nice dish. It's a nice color. You know, it's for Super Bowl or St. Patrick's Day, any day you want. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> put the Parmesan cheese in. Help you out, Chef Robert. In no, any we're way. fine. We're doing. I know you can handle it all. Yep. You're afraid of what I might do. It's all right. <laughs> so you've got the pasta that I know you've cooked I've ahead of time. Cooked ahead of time and just shocking it to loosen it up. Oh, that looks good. Really, really good. Chef Robert, we've run out of time, but I know you've got okay. other stuff coming yes. up for the next segment. Yeah, it's all ready. What will we be doing? We'll be doing the uh, bruschetta with pesto, and then I'm going to make a pesto meal at night. For pasta, hot pasta. There are two more things that you're making. Yes. So this is dish number one all done. All ready to go. Ready for two and three coming up next. Okay. Thanks, Chef Robert. it up a notch for our game day yes. menu. This really, I mean, I think your guests would be uh, really excited to have this meal <laughs> if you're going to a Super Bowl party. Yeah. What I've already done is I've already started uh, sauteing the shrimp because of the time element, just mm -hmm. to get that going. And I'm working on um, the bruschetta. The bruschetta. And what you did here is put a little less olive oil in the pesto. Uh -huh. yes. So you've got Parmesan cheese on the bread, and then I'm coating it with pesto, and we'll put a uh, mozzarella cheese slice on it. And we'll bake it in the oven. This smells What wonderful. I'm doing here is I'm making a dinner. Now everyone's gone to the game and now everyone's <laughs> left home saying, now what are we going to have for dinner tonight? Well, yeah. you've got all the stuff left over, so let's put it to good use. Oh, I like that. So I've gone ahead and got the shrimp going with the heavy whipping cream. I'll go ahead and put in some Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So our pasta's done. Our pasta's first pasta already dish. done. That mm -hmm. is done. That's already done. Would you call that an appetizer or is that... This is dinner. That's an appetizer. Okay. The pasta was an appetizer. The first yeah. pasta. Uh -huh. It's a salad appetizer. They can take to the game with them and 
whatever they're having, sandwiches or whatever, you have a salad on the side. And then this is what you'll have when you get home. Uh-huh. Um, a, a busy night of watching a game, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And then see, we're making the pesto sauce now, and of course that'll thicken as it cooks more. I see a theme here with the pesto. I like yes. It. Yep. You know, I had two, two aunts that worked in a factory in Italy, and uh, their whole life they worked and worked seven days a week, mm -hmm. so one of the aunts said, you know, I, I need to get a day off, but I know the boss is going to be upset when he sees, what should I do? She says, well, act crazy. Maybe he'll feel sorry and send you home. So right. she said, okay, so I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be a light, light bulb, she says. So she got up in the rafter and hung up on, upside down and started blinking, saying, I'm a light bulb, I'm a light bulb. The boss came in what? and saw her and says, geez, you know, you need to go home. You know, you're, I think you're stressed out. So he had two guys come over and says, how about helping the light bulb down and send her home? So she went home, All right. and so the, my other aunt started packing her desk up. So the boss said, where are you going? She says, well, you don't expect me to work in the dark, do you? Oh, so but I'm bum. Yeah, but I'm bum. Yeah. From Italy? Yes, yes. And see, <laughs> this is going real nice. You know, when I was in school, when I went, came back from Italy and I went to school, they never, I never got orientated on the market, the grading system. The gra yeah. oh, like, oh, you mean with like paying for, for the grades and, and stuff and like that? You know. okay. So when I got grades. D's and F's, I thought that was fine and dandy. I mean, no one ever told me. And then after nine years sitting in the same seat, I finally asked the teacher, am I passing or what? <laughs> so that's, I mean, that was a story when you come from Italy. But you can see what's happening now. It's getting nice and thick. <laughs> You're doing okay now, though. And here's, well, you know, you'd be surprised what you can do in a microwave. <laughs> and here's the meal now. now. Now you have dinner. You've got bruschetta. That's great. And then you've got dinner while you're watching the game at home or just having a good time with your friends. i got to tell you, you are cooking your whole entire meal, and I'm not talking, and it still takes me the same amount of time. I can't figure that out. I'm a little in the weeds here, I think. But no, the mozzarella goes there. How long does this go in the oven? Just till the mozzarella melts, and that's it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be working uh, while we chat with Carrie right now. <laughs> And Chef Robert, a good thing that you made quite a bit of it. Three dishes that you made using that pesto sauce, variations of it. So over mm -hmm. here uh, on the edge, John Dagan is there on the camera with the cold pasta salad with the sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then to the shrimp mixture from earlier, you added more pasta. Right. Uh -huh. And more pesto. This will be your dinner. Mm -hmm. And then there's the appetizer or just something to snack on while all this is going on. <laughs> You're saying that you could bring it to a Super Bowl party or you could just leave it at home leave for it when home. Uh, you get home after the game. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Haw here, uh, the food and be beverage director over at City Dock with yes. some wine pairings for this meal. I did. Picked uh, two wines today. We're going to go with a white and a red. Our first one's the Oyster Bay Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Marlboro, New Zealand. A uh, cool climate grape. Uh, such a beautiful grape, and uh, why don't you give that a smell? Yeah, I smelled it earlier. Very fruity. It is. Right? Fruity. Yeah, it's got some pineapple, yeah. kiwi in there, yeah. citrus, Smells at least good. some of those are the aromas I get. Um, typically, you can also find maybe some uh, fresh cut grass aroma in there, oh, believe yeah. it or not. Very maybe nice. some gooseberry and sometimes even jalapeno. So I would think the pesto is kind of what you're fighting against or working with, I it guess. It does. Well, the Sauvignon Blanc has got such great acidity. Um, which makes it a, a great food wine to begin with, but it also cuts through that, that creaminess of the uh, of, uh, chef's uh, dish here. So. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Um, and it's the best here. thing about it is the screw top. And that's okay? It's easy. Because right, remember, in it's the years easy. past, I mean, that was like a, a taboo, like that wasn't a good wine, but no, the screw top is okay? It's fine, you know what, because 98% of the wines sold on the market today are meant to be drinking within one year, so it's fine. Oh, it's, well, a great, it's a great closure, and it makes it easier on a picnic. Right. <laughs> It's so. a reminder to get it, get done with it For quicker. It so you've got a red wine as well. I do the uh, seven uh, uh, deadly zins, <laughs> not sins. No, zins, even though they do list the sins on the uh, the label, uh, <laughs> but this is actually clever. Um, they use the grapes from the seven best growers in the Lodi Appalachian, which uh -huh. is for where this wine is from. Very nice. And the Phillips put it together, and uh, just great uh, blueberry, raspberry, a little bit of pepper, and just very smooth tannins. I just thought it would work so well with both the bruschetta and the the main dish, and you can do it with a salad too. It just goes great with pesto overall. Nice so. choices, very yeah, much so. So we've got our dishes here. We'll definitely serve it up. Uh, coming up, anything quickly? Anything going well, on? This is for exciting. The holidays? But what do you see? What we got going for Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. The next holiday yeah, would be Valentine's holiday. Day. We'll Give talk about call. that coming up. Make your reservation call. early. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm.